Today we are going to take a look at my latest miniature market purchase which contains uh, some of their currently cheaper miniatures including some cheaper giants. Hello and welcome to the Creative Cobbled. I am Gaira and uh, just a uh, quick note as of uh, this recording I still have the uh, coronavirus so if my voice sounds a bit weird that is why and I apologize. From time to time I like to uh, scour miniature market and other sites uh, to find what miniatures are on the are currently on the cheaper end of the scale and sometimes that includes some rather large miniatures and some surprising miniatures now i don't remember all the uh, prices for these but i can say at least the giants were in the four to five dollar range which i think is pretty decent value for uh, for that size miniatures but let's start with some of the smaller ones now first off are these two miniatures these are glister and gleam and uh, they are from the wild beyond the Witchlight light dnd set now we might be playing that adventure soon and i saw these were rather cheap so i figured why not just include them uh, also something i just noticed is that uh, if you put these next to each other they will basically look like they are holding hands and dancing with each other which is a pretty nice detail i don't know if it's intentional but it is definitely a thing and i like it then we have this little goblin this is uh, chief zuzgut so this is from one of the pathfinder sets i don't remember which one and i probably won't remember uh, which sets the other minis are from either however this character is also um, on the throne in the goblin village set so i figured if i have a standing version of him uh, he he'll be more useful in adventures and such and now we are moving on to the large miniatures because those were all all the uh, small and medium ones first off we have the radiant idol so this is definitely a fallen angel type of character uh, you can see the wings have been ripped off and they are bloody and Otherwise, looks like just a uh, very tall human with a flail and no shirt. So this is a very nice big bad evil guy to have running cults. Like you fight through all the cultists and this guy is uh, at the end of it all. So I, I definitely see myself using this one. Then we have the uh, bullet. Uh, this is one somewhat new miniature. The thing is, I didn't already have a bullet miniature, so this was a good time to get one. Paint job on it is okay, just like most of these. And it can be a very useful miniature to have because you know it is one of the great classic creatures of Dungeons and Dragons no matter which edition you play there's always gonna be bullets now next up is the uh, Hippogriff comes with the base and uh, the flying peg um, there it is not assembled but it is a decent sized mini it has the back body of a horse and the front body of an eagle Cl 
classic uh, mythological creature. I think it was like two dollars, two and a half dollars, something like that. Figured might as well uh, grab one. Next up is uh, a similar creature. This, this is the uh, Hierarcho Sphinx. Hierarcho Sphinx. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly or not, but whatever. Uh, also comes with the base and flying peg unassembled, which is fine. This one is practically just black plastic and some details. But, you know, again, it's fine. It's a little bit of gray dry brushing on the top of the wings and the head. But, yeah, not a lot of uh, color on this. But it's a very cool creature. Seems like it has basically a lion's body and a crow's head and wings or something in that direction that one was also just like a couple of dollars and i figured i might as well get two of those because creatures are usually nice to have multiples of so you can use them in encounters oftentimes if you just have one of a mini you will never use it in an encounter because you need multiples and then we have an Andro Sphinx. It is uh, decently painted. There is some dry brushing, it looks like, on the main part of the body. Uh, there is gold and a uh, turquoise metallic on his headdress and the beard thing there. A little bit of red up there darker brown on the main gold bracelets on the uh, four legs there and two white wings I will say he looks a little small I do generally think uh, sphinxes ought to be a bit larger than this but it, it's large enough to be functional. It just seems a little bit downsized, perhaps. Maybe not. Not too bad, but I would have liked it a little bit larger. Those were all the large minis. Now it's on to the, uh, the few huge sized minis. The uh, giant can. And we have three of them. Uh, first off is this stone giant. I think I am maxing out my need for stone giants at this point. But I this one was like four or five dollars. I think that's decent for a giant mini. And he's uh, carrying this club made from a stalactite or stalagmite, which is pretty cool. Though I would have liked it if it is, if it was uh, more gray than brown, but you know, maybe I'll repaint it. Who knows? Either way, decent-looking uh, stone giant. Another one for the collection. And finally, there are two different. Fomorians. Now, it's interesting that they seem to always have the same eye big. I think that goes for some other um, other Fomorian min minis as well. Most other that it is the left eye is big and the right eye is small. But don't take my word for it, I might be wrong. Either way, uh, decent, decent uh, Fomorian minis. 
I do have one Fomorian Minis from the old DDM line. I would like these to have more of the same skin color though, so I might just do a quick white or off-white dry brush to make them look the same. But otherwise, these will fit well in with that other guy. And now I have a larger chance of using Fomorians in my game since I only had the one from earlier. So that's it. It's not a huge haul, but it is uh, definitely something. Since I live in Norway, I have to order minis under the under $35 uh, total, including shipping, or else I will be smacked with uh, import fees, which is not so great, especially not for smaller orders. So, but if I keep myself under that amount, I will uh, not be smacked with those fees. And that means sometimes I have to do multiple orders, uh, even though I'll pay shipping multiple times. But in the end, I avoid those uh, taxes, which would have been more costly. But for the minis that I got, I am happy with uh, what I paid. I highly suggest you check out uh, Miniature Market and other sites like Noble Knight uh, Games and um, whatever other shops are out there. See what miniatures they have on the lower end of the price scale. Because sometimes it's a lot of miniatures that are very functional, very useful for your games. Anyway, with all that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.